Hi, this is Jason Filter with the Daily Forex Report for September 21st. We have the U.S.-Japanese uh, yen pair that we're looking at. I'm expecting this pair uh, to move between 108.31 on the high side and on the very low side 105.08. Uh, now, I realize that's a fairly large range. Look for some uh, resistance to come into the market at 107.50. And on the lower side, the support, look for some support to come into the market around 106.15. We've had a, a pretty large range from Saturday, and that's why our uh, range uh, predictor for this next session is pretty high. Friday, the market did move up higher. Uh, broke out of this nice tight little uh, range that it was forming there moving sideways uh, it definitely broke up broke out to the upside and I anticipate it to continue it did gap down so I have a pretty good indication that it's going to at least retrace up to this point I thought it was interesting that if you noticed it retraced the previous gap from the previous week it took all day Friday and it went pretty low I mean we came down here and we were, you know, around the 103.50 area, and it retraced all the way back up uh, on Friday to fill that gap prior to the close. So just kind of a, an interesting side note there on that. Let's take a look at the Euro USD pair. This particular pair moved lower during Friday, but also moved higher overall to close up. I'm expecting this pair to. Uh, to move higher as well. It did gap up, so it should retrace down a little bit. Uh, we still haven't broken this high, this previous high, so definitely look for that to be broken uh, before we should see any real moves to the upside. We may see it all within the same, uh, you know, within the same session. And if you want to have a quick trade, you know, draw your trend line there between those two. Uh, points going up and then have your uh, your your trend line here moving sideways your horizontal line get a break above that horizontal line and then exit at the trend line it'd be a real a, probably a pretty quick trade uh, a couple of pips but you know it, it should be uh, should be there it should be a fairly quick move up so it's definitely something to take note of now I am expecting this next session to move between one 45.27 and on the lower side 141.06 look for some resistance to come into this market at around the 145.50 area and as far as support goes look for support at around 143.50 area now switching over to the pound US pair. This pair also moved higher. It did make a new high as well uh, from this previous week and it uh, I am expecting it to move higher during this next session. It did gap down so hopefully it will move at least back to the previous. The odds are it will move back to the previous close. Now I realize that's not that far but it, odds are it should happen. Now I am expecting it to move between 184.21 and on the lower side between 178.58. As far as our Swiss pair that we're looking at, I am looking at this pair to move between 10975 and on the higher side 113.15. Uh, look for some uh, support a little bit lower at about here around the 1.1100 level and as far as some uh, support goes look for support around the 110 area. Uh, I am also looking for this pair to move lower it gapped down on the open or I'm sorry gapped up on the open so the odds are that it will continue, continue lower uh, this pair is pretty much moving sideways, even though the ranges have been really high. Uh, you know, uh, the range 
overall is, is pretty large. It still is moving sideways. I'd have to see a break uh, somewhere above here for around the 1.1280 area uh, to, to see it go higher or break uh, probably below this low to see it go to uh, you know continue going lower. So that's definitely what I'm looking for. Now as far as our news announcements, later uh, today we have, Sunday we have the Bank of Japan uh, has their monetary policy meeting, uh, minutes being released at uh, uh, for August, and that's going to be at 7.50 p.m. As far as Monday goes, we have the retail sales for uh, the Canadian dollar being released. That's for July, and it's being released at 8.30 a.m. Consensus is, is that it's down from 0.5% uh, to 0.3 percent so definitely uh, keep an eye on that it's going to be released at 8:30. so if it's way off we could see a pop in the US Canadian dollar pair uh, at that time so until next time this is Jason Fielder good trading